What is up everybody and welcome back to Tattoo Critiques. I'm Pony Lawson and today we are going to be checking out some of the top tattoos found on Reddit this week. Now I haven't seen any of these, but usually they're pretty rough, so hopefully there's some good ones sprinkled in there as well. Nevertheless, we're going to check them out anyway. Let's get it. All right, Ryan, send that first one over. Okay, um, this one's not terrible. I've definitely seen worse. I mean, the photo itself is super glary, so it's really hard to tell what's going on on the right side. But uh, obviously we've got some little demon head here uh, ripping out of the skin, if that's what you'd want to call this, on top of some little uh, gremlin face. He kind of looks like Abe from Oddworld. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest gripe is the skin rip, if that's what we're calling it, because it really doesn't look like skin at all. It almost looks like a stone or like some kind of fossil. If I had to guess, I'd say this was done by an artist who really never escaped the 90s, because this style was super popular back then. Uh, I don't know why my favorite part is the teeth. I feel like they didn't do a bad job on the teeth. Which, what, really? Well, I mean, you know, they're, they're white. <laughs> and clearly this demon has some kind of skin condition with those green blisters on his hand. Blech. And I don't know if it's just the picture, but it really looks like that hair has been there for several years. I mean, I guess this could have been an old fixer rubber tattoo. Maybe they did get this in the 90s and somebody else just colored it in recently. Either way, it's really not my favorite. Let's see what else we've got. I mean, that's a cute little snake, but it almost looks like an earthworm. If her sleeve covered any more of her hand, I'd say we'd be looking at something else entirely. And I wouldn't be putting it that close to my face either. Watch out, they spit. Your hands are almost always going to be exposed, and this one really isn't one I'd be showing off. So remember kids, if you're gonna get your hands tattooed, make sure it's something you really love, because everybody's gonna be seeing this one. All right, now we've got... <laughs> okay, uh, that's a fun one. Obviously it's Toad making out with, uh, I mean it looks like Yoshi, but it kind of looks like Yoshi's bottom. <laughs> I'm having a real hard time telling what's going on on the left hand side of this tattoo. What is going on here? Is that Yoshi's ass? No. Yes? No. Oh, okay, I see it now. And man, they are going at it. That puts a whole new meaning on kissing the mushroom tip. It's also just a weird way to end Yoshi's head. It's kind of like cut off at the neck, which makes it very hard to distinguish what is actually happening. Or maybe they're stuck in quicksand and they're saying their final goodbyes. Oh man, and the way that Yoshi's just grabbing onto the back of Toad's neck, he's into it. <laughs> and I kind of love Toad's lips, how they're just super loose and wet. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this could have been a really good tattoo if it were done well. Uh, they just kind of missed the mark on this one. All right, this next one, <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> oh, and it's his Tinder profile. Like that's gonna win someone over. I see here that it says he's six foot, but he's really not far past that second hinge in the doorway. So I'm gonna call bullshit. I mean, his phone is almost bigger than his head. There's no way he's six foot tall. And I love that cute little fur patch that he's got on his chest, just keeping him warm for those winter months. But I really wonder if that butterfly is covering up an old tattoo, and I really wonder what would be under there if it is. Or do you think he painted this tattoo on just for his Tinder profile? My guess with everything else that he's got going on is that that's probably a real tattoo. Real or not, at least he's got the confidence to show it off. All right, next we've got a, um, Wiener firing off rounds. Nothing says America more than a hot dog firing off rounds watching fireworks. I mean, this is a, not a badly done tattoo, which is nice to see, but who puts ketchup on their hot dogs? I mean, seriously. Please tell me you guys aren't doing that. But as I said before, this really isn't a bad tattoo at all. It looks well done. And obviously this is just more of a fun joke tattoo and those are the tattoos that I love most, so I'm all for it. But let's see what's next. Oh man, in a world full of bad choices, you had to make the worst. Don't these people realize that that's permanent? He'll never be able to change frames again, but at least he can wear sunglasses, I guess. But one thing that really bugs me about this tattoo is how it doesn't go all the way around the ears. I mean, why stop there? Just shave your hair and finish it off. The hair grows back. The tattoo's there forever. I mean, at least his neck tattoos look normal. Yeah, I don't know, I would have at least done Ray-Bans. I mean, if we look at the second photo, he's clearly having fun with it. He's about to have a good time. Uh, but if I look down at the fourth photo, he just looks like he's full of regret. That's more like a nervous smile. He's like, <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Man, this is definitely one of those tattoos that I would have told the guy to come back another day to see if he's still serious about it, or maybe just draw on his face and let him live with that for a week, because I guarantee you he'd change his mind. Of course, I would have a great time tattooing this, but I think it's just irresponsible on the tattooer to put that on his face 
unless he came back several times asking for it, then hey, why not? And that one's gonna be really hard to cover up, of course, unless he wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, maybe. Probably not the best idea. I'm curious to see what's next. All right. Oh, this one is sick. This is definitely my favorite one we've seen thus far. And as far as the execution goes, I think the artist really nailed it on this one. I really appreciate the little details in this tattoo, like the little white highlights that are in her hair. The colors are vivid, the outlines are clean, and that orange background just really sets this thing off. Yeah, that thing's dope, and I absolutely love the boa that she's wearing around her neck, the cigarette smoke that's disappearing into the background. This thing really does have it all. And I can't really tell what's going on to the right of this tattoo, but it does look like another well-done piece. So great job to the artist. I really hope that we see a few more along these lines. All right, and up next we've got a sour looking Jesus. You know, Jesus really isn't that hard to tattoo. I've probably seen more bad Jesuses than good Jesuses. Jesus I? Jesus I? Jesse? <laughs> just I? Just I? Just. Justices. <laughs> Whatever the case. This isn't good. And he's got some Tom Cruise teeth, it looks like. <laughs> Aside from the whole tattoo being god awful, no pun intended, there's just some random lines that are happening over here on the left hand side coming from these thorns. I don't know what this artist was thinking. And it almost looks like his head disappears entirely behind that crown of thorns. It just ends so dramatically. And does he have a teardrop? Did Jesus murder somebody? I mean, what did Jesus do to deserve this? Anyway, amen, brother. Real quick, I wanna take a break from these god awful decisions and talk about how you can make some smart ones. If you haven't already heard of Mad Rabbit Tattoo Aftercare, head on over to their website and check them out. Don't forget to use code PONY20 to save 20% off your entire order and start making smart decisions today. All right, here we go. All right, this is what I'm talking about. This tattoo is badass, or tattoos, I should say. Yeah, these are definitely dope. I absolutely love this Bender side of the leg. I mean, the Mickey Mouse one isn't bad either. I just really love Bender. Oh, it actually does say, bite my shiny metal ass. Hey, bite my shiny metal ass. I think the artist did an extremely good job with this one. It's got a lot of really good elements and they managed to keep it very clean and legible. And I like a lot of these features happening in the Mickey Mouse tattoo as well. You've got the Steamboat Willie on the TV and the uh, dead mouse on the rat trap. This is one of those tattoos where you could just look at it for a long period of time and always find something new. And I think they put the right amount of red in this tattoo as well. Although those red areas might not be the best saturated, at least these tattoos do look good overall. Like if we were to look over at Mickey's shorts, you can tell there's a lot of holidays happening in there. So I do wish the artist spent just a bit more time in those areas in particular. But design and composition wise, I really think they nailed it. And I also really like how they each have their own little tattoos as well. Just some nice little features peppered in there really help round this thing off. But excellent job to the artist. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I've absolutely seen this tattoo online and this is definitely one of the best cover-ups or reworks I've ever seen. This is definitely one of the better ways to handle a bad tattoo because I absolutely love how they kept the original tattoo and just made it look like Pikachu was making a self-portrait. And application-wise, this tattoo is on point. Those yellows are saturated and those lines are beautiful. And I also love the little details in this tattoo, like the little Heineken at the bottom and his little bucket of paint. Again, excellent job to the artist. This is definitely a very clever way to handle a bad tattoo. All right, and we've got a uh, hot boiled peanuts. Again, another pretty solid tattoo. And although I do love beautiful, meaningful tattoos, there's just something about these kind of tattoos that make you smile. Ooh -wee. Get your hot boiled nuts! And I absolutely love the trucker hat and the mustache. I'd almost bet that this person was from the South. But again, it's nice to see another very well done tattoo. Ryan, let's see what's next. <laughs> oh Lord. Maybe this is what I should do, but I wouldn't have given myself a weird, awkward looking comb over. You could have gone for a nice fade or something along those lines. Um, probably not the best hairstyle, as it's already out of style. I probably would have went with a bowl cut. Dude, those bangs are so awful. Give me Pete Wentz, but make it Pete Wentz. And you can tell he's so proud of this thing. Why would you get a tattoo of a toupee when you could just buy a toupee? I mean, you could change it out whenever you want. You could have a different style for the winter. The possibilities are endless. But with this, you're just stuck with that. I don't even know what you'd call that. Bang mania, I don't know. I can guarantee he lives in Indiana. And I can say that because I grew up there. Pretty sure this guy was my neighbor. Yeah, it's real good to see Chris is doing well. It really makes me wonder if this guy and the guy that tattooed the glasses on his face are best buds, because they're both stupid. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. There's not much more fun than seeing what weird things people do to their bodies, but I bet it makes most of you guys feel better about your choices. So make sure you come back next week where we break down some actual tattoos sent in by you guys. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see y'all next week.